to the channel or welcome back. Today I am super excited because I might have made a little trip to Chanel. The backstory on this, uh, and if you guys don't know or haven't watched any of my other purse-based videos, I sort of see purse purchases as a trophy for a specific milestone that I got to in life and to celebrate that milestone. So it was to celebrate the milestone of uh, a financial goal that I set for myself to save a certain amount of money uh, for my house that I'm trying to buy with Dave. and. A lot of people will probably ask me, well, Mel, don't you think buying a $3,000 purse is counterintuitive to saving up money? And I would agree, I would agree, it's quite excessive. And Dave would probably also agree. But I think that there's something to be said about motivation and doing whatever it takes to, to motivate you. And for me, that just happens to be getting these trophies to mark these milestones and to celebrate them. And it kind of drives me to work harder to, one, make that money back, and two, uh, to really keep pursuing my goals. So I figured today I wanted to do this unboxing with you. I haven't seen this purse yet since I picked it up a couple of days ago from the boutique. I bought this at the Yorkdale Chanel location here in Toronto, and I will make a quick note that Chanel boutiques in Toronto tend to sometimes, I find, not be super helpful. Uh, I think that because there's only two stores, basically in all of Eastern Ontario, I believe there might be one in Montreal, but um, they tend to not be eager to help you. I feel like I'm always begging to get help when I'm in those Chanel stores. But anyhow, I've ended up finding a piece that I have been keeping my eye on for a while. I'm going to basically unbox this for the first time with you guys. I really hope that there is a purse in here because if not, that will be very sad. Uh, this bag here is made from a pretty nice finish. It's a, it's a satiny finish. I like to typically keep my Chanel bags and boxes. There's just a little bit of a of a ribbon here. Maybe I'll put this in my hair. Inside um, is your uh, receipt. So I realized, and I don't know if this is in all Chanel's, it must be because it's on the receipt, but it says no refunds on the receipt, which was a surprise to me actually. So I guess if you're gonna buy a Chanel purse, I never realized in my other Chanel purchases, but make sure you are ready to give up that money because it's store credit back only. And for the very exciting part, dun da da da. Okay, so we've got to the exciting part. Uh, this is a pretty sturdy box here. Um, in fact, I think it's a little bit more sturdy because the purse that I picked up was considered a classic because the boxes that I have for some of my other purses that are more seasonal are just like the flimsy ones. So there's this fabric uh, camellia uh, flower that's kind of stuck on top of here and the ribbon which is the same one as I was very foolishly tying around my head. Let's see if we can do this in a way that's not Mel clumsiness. And inside, these boxes are a lot harder to open than they look on people's unboxing videos. Ah, there we go. Inside, you've got this beautiful micro suede dust bag here that's carrying my purse. Not really much else inside the box. I think that, truthfully, it's one of the most pretty dust bags out there. But inside, the big reveal is Chanel wallet on chain. So I had been looking for a Chanel walk or wallet on chain uh, for quite a while in this particular colorway and leather. So this is a caviar leather Chanel wallet on chain. Most of my Chanel bags are caviar leather. I am probably the first person to scratch their bag within a week of getting it, if not less 
or pouring something on it within a day. So caviar leather is a pebbled leather. It's a little bit more durable than the calf skin that they have. So they had this gold version and they also had it in silver. I was looking for a gold and black purse so I went for the gold but the silver is really pretty too. The reason why I think these are really popular and in demand is because of their price point. They are considered a classic but the price point is a little bit less. This was $2,600 Canadian. Uh, I think in the US it's $1,900 but correct me if I'm wrong. And typically the classic start I think at about $45 plus. So on the outside of it you'll see uh, that it is quilted uh, like the classic Chanel's and you've got the gold hardware with the CC there. And inside it's a button closure so you do have to snap it. There's no twist lock like some of the other uh, classics. When you get it you'll have this felt piece inside that's going to protect your leather uh, from you know scratches of zippers and stuff. Inside here you've got a ton of different components uh, that I think that people really love the walk for. Starting from I guess the top here is this compartment up here. Inside you've got this classic Chanel uh, maroon interior that is in fabric. Uh, and what I love about this pocket is that you can actually stuff all the way down. So my entire hand fits all the way down. So you actually enter into the back compartment of the bag. Also, that is a very secretive compartment. So I'm, I'm like brainstorming what I should put in there now. Just below it, you'll see that you've got the Chanel CC stamped there. And next you've got the uh, chain which goes through this leather piping here. So the chain on this one is a little bit uh, thinner and lighter than the classic bags. But it's really nice because it is crossbody and you don't really want it be, to be too too heavy. The chain kind of runs through this piping. So it does pull through like this. So I've seen a lot of people do a lot of creative things with this. Like they wrap it around twice here and you can actually use this instead of a crossbody as a shoulder bag. Inside there you can see that you've got six card compartments so you can put six different credit cards in there for shopping. On the interior of the leather is all this um, canvas material in maroon. The only thing is on the back side here it's actually leather and this is also where you'll see the Made in France label. What's great is that you've actually also got, because of that little leather flap, an opening here for an additional pocket, which is great if you want to store money. I think that that's really nice because it's kind of with your cards. You have also this zipper compartment in the front here, which is again also that leather pull tab zipper, and inside you've got quite a big compartment as well. And you've got your authenticity card. This needs to go in its box right away because I always lose these. In this other compartment here where you can put, you know, more bills or receipts or anything like that there, you actually have, and I just learned this, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little barcode in there that is holographic and it matches your serial number on your authenticity card. All right guys, so here is the test of truth. We've got my wallet, so that's gonna go right in this main compartment here. Now we got my Smashbox lip gloss that I can't go anywhere without. Then I've got my phone, which is currently the Google Pixel. Then I've got my car key, which is typically on a little bit of more of a keychain, so we'll have to see what I do about that. And then we've got my handy plasters. My friend who's English, she just told me that these are called plasters. Uh, Band-aids. Why do I have band-aids? Good freaking question. I hurt myself all the time. I'm gonna put in that front pocket there. And I've also got some random expense receipts. I'm gonna put that in that uh, leather compartment flap there. And then we've got cash. 
yes, us Canadians have colored cash. Actually, I'm gonna stick this in that card compartment. I feel like that is a good use of that card compartment if I'm not gonna actually use it for cards. And earphones. I'm gonna actually see if I can fit the earphones in the back here in this half crescent moon. I feel like that would be really convenient. Let's see if this is gonna close. Ooh, it's tight, but it does close. So I guess it really depends on how much you'd like to stretch out your purse. Um, the sides of this are, are kind of bulging when I put all of that stuff in it. I think mostly because of my wallet, uh, but this side isn't just because I don't think there's as much stuff over on this side. Um, but I did have to kind of maneuver it to close. And if you see here, there is uh, quite a bit of a lift with how much stuff I've got in it. So I was able to fit my earphones in this half crescent moon pocket in the back here, although it, it does bulge out quite a little bit. Basically what I realized is that this is not going to stay in pristine condition forever. I'm probably going to be stretching out the leather a little bit just because I, I, I need quite a few of these things in my purse. This is basically my bare necessities. So, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna bulge a little bit and that's just okay because you know what? A purse is supposed to carry shit. I'm really excited about this piece just because it's uh, a classic and I'm very excited about having a black and gold piece in my collection and that it's caviar so it will hopefully be mel proof. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope you guys liked unboxing this special commemoration with me. I'm really excited about this this moment in my life which again is what this purse represents to me and if you guys aren't already please subscribe to the channel if you guys want to hang out a little bit more with me like the video and comment below on what you think of this Chanel if you've heard of anything about it I'd love to hear your opinions and just on designer purses I guess as a whole and if you feel like my cheesy uh, metaphor for purses as life milestone trophies is kind of what you're into or not. Thanks so so much again for watching guys. Your support always means so much to me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm sending you lots and lots of love and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!